Picnic King. Picnic King, my man. Why don't you come and take a seat? So we uh, couldn't help but notice that you uh, seem to have a lot of trouble getting rockets in the air, or even getting planes in the air for that matter. So we've been speaking to the directors and we've decided to give you something that should be a fairly good benchmark of your abilities. We just want you to get a rocket into orbit. Nothing too complex. And uh, Picnic King, if you can't do this, uh, there will be repercussions this time. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, buddy. Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're uh, going to be trying to get a rocket uh, actually into orbit because for all of my time actually playing this game, I've never actually been able to do it. So uh, let's get stuck into it then. So uh, from my uh, numerous learnings about spaceships, I uh, do recall that you do need uh, fuel. Fuel's a fairly important part of uh, building a spaceship. Oh, wait, I need an engine. I need an engine for this or it isn't going to... It ab absolutely will not work. This one looks big. Yeah, that, that'll do. That's about the right size. Okay, so now we need we need the big fuel to make the big explosion. Oh wait, that's a service bay. Yeah, I don't need those. I need things that blow off and break apart. Yeah, and then, oh, yep, yep. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm assuming I'm assuming this is big enough because you know um, I know about space and building rockets. If that's not enough fuel to get to like space. I, I honestly do not know what is. So now, uh, we just gotta put the big engines. There we go, that's a... That's a pretty decent amount of engine. So uh, to help us just like, get into the air, we're just gonna like, stick some wings on this old... This old rocket ship. This is how science works, right? You stick some wings on it. Everyone's happy, right? We'll just get some of those, those little pointy rockets too. Where are, the, where are those little, what, are they, what do you call them? The, the RCS rockets. Where are they? Yeah, perfect. Oh wait, we need RCS fuel. I'm gonna stick it on the side. Hmm. That might not be good for re-entry. All right, well, uh, we're ready to go. So let's let's go. All right, uh, here we go. So I guess we'll just put the throttle right up because we don't do things by halves here. We got Jeb, Bill, and Bob. Let's let's do it. Hey, there we go. Now turn on the things that help us fly straight. Hey, don't worry, guys. It's, it's meant to bow like that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, wait, wait. What's happening? Have we separated? No. Oh, our kids. Kids. Kids, this is not... Whoa, what about my directional rockets? Ah! Alright, that's okay though. We still got the other engine. That's, that's alright. It was built for that to happen. See? It's fine. Now we'll just... Point it up. Yeah, see, look at that. Fine, look at that. We can still... We can still... Fly... In a... Okay, you know what? Maybe... We got the little rocket for that. In case the big rocket also stuffs up. And... And, uh, now I'm seeing two of everything. Um, yep. Outcome, catastrophic failure. Well, that depends on your definition of failure, buddy. Uh, okay, so I think then, like, the first thing we need to do is enhance the structural integrity of the, uh, the launch vehicle. Uh, turns out that, uh, the Boeing and the moving around was not really, uh, that helpful. Look at that. Look at how structural that is. So structural. I'm, I'm, I'm a rocket building genius. There we go, nice and structural. Should be fine now. Heading straight up into the uh, into the atmosphere this time around. The engines aren't even falling apart, but uh, it would appear as though we're about to snap in half. Though, what's going on here? Uh, you. Uh, oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, uh, I guess they'll just keep. I'll catch up. I'll, I'll catch up. <laughs> uh, what? What exploded? Why is the parachute firing at the same time the engine is? Uh, hey. The the good thing is, though, they're gonna live this time, right? Oh, we're kind of coming down a little fast here. Ah! Uh, 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 hey! Look at that! They didn't. They didn't die. They didn't die, though, huh? Good luck calling that a catastrophic failure. He's he's not even dead, and he can even walk and everything. All right. So, uh, with appear the problem now is uh, this section here. Uh, you know. So, having studied uh, business, uh, I know that you need to isolate problems and try to try to fix them so i guess like we'll, we'll just try to stop the ship from bending so much and then we'll put a big nozzle for a big connection and then i guess we'll just attach this to like that and how could it possibly fail now right i mean look how, how can this fail i study it i know these things perfect cannot fail let's do it all right here we go here we go oh. Throw it up. 
Give it, give it the ghoulies. There we go. Look at this. Yeah, not even, it's not even shaking too much. It's actually, it's actually uh, looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good so far. <laughs> I don't think it's quite meant to shake that much. It's like it's doing like the cha-cha or something as it makes its way into orbit. Uh, the bending is because I built a rocket that is too good. The bottom bit is too much power. 1,000 meters a minute. We are, we're moving. We're moving, boys. Uh, I, I guess we'll start trying to orbit then. Let's try to actually get some orbiting action happening here. This is exceptionally bad. Okay, uh, we're not shaking too much, I guess, now. We're just rotating. Hey, get rid of these engines. No, wait, the solid rocket boosters! They're on the wrong stage! Point up! Oh, this is... Now we're getting pushed down. Okay, can we just at least not point down back to Earth? That would be amazing if we could just be pointing away. Oh, wait. That's not a coupling thing. Ah. Uh, what happens if I turn this on? How do I, uh... How do I make you go? Okay, so we cannot separate from the first stage. Turn on, like, engines. Can I just... Yeah, yeah mate, just... Hey, activate the engine. Oh, <laughs> Well, uh, I guess that works. Why not, right? Wasn't the right engine, but hey, I mean... We, we're, we are building an orbit now. Didn't use half my rocket ship to do it, but here we are. I mean, well, I mean, look, you know, who needs, who needs the other half of that rocket anyway, you know? I mean, rocket science, it's, it's not an exact science, you know? Maths, right? I mean, what, what's it done for anyone? It, it's happening! I'm about to achieve an orbit, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, we've done it! And we only did a couple of... 360s. Look at that. A real life orbit that is rapidly escaped. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's too much. We, we, we've done too much of a good thing. Alright. Now, please, please, I don't want my Kerbals going into deep space if we can avoid it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's, that's too much of not orbit. Turn off. Alright. Oh, look at that. That is a real, a real life, real orbit for real people. Uh, Alright, then I think we'll uh, call that one a wrap then, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.